everyone, welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. Today, I'm gonna walk you through one of my favorite tricks for making thrift store or flea market art go from something I don't love to something that I do love. Stay tuned. The only thing you wanna think of for this project is what type of artwork you wanna paint. I like florals, those are the types of things I tend to look for. I also like the look of this on an actual painting, so that's something else I'm looking for, but there's no reason you can't do this on a drawing or even just a print. I use paint markers. Now, I'm gonna link to these markers in the video description. I choose these because they mix just like paint and they are permanent just like paint and they don't absorb into the material the way a Sharpie might. I like to call this a paint by numbers hack. And so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm looking at this artwork and I notice that there's some blues, some reds, some pinks, and that's what I'm gonna select. Obviously, I'm gonna grab some greens because there's some leaves in here. Notice that I have a piece of paper right off to the side. These paint markers can get a little bit messy and you always have to start by shaking the pen. And then to activate the paint, you need to press down, and I'm not gonna do this on my artwork in case there's a leak or something goes wrong. So I am going to get my paint pen up and running over here on a piece of scrap paper. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and trace right on top of the artwork the colors that I want to cover. So get a podcast going. I happen to have one called the North South Makers. Just saying, this is really good busy work. And I'm just starting out with this one color. I find that it's easier to start lightly with one color and then if you need to come back and fill in, you'll have a better sense of it. So I'm only going over these bright, bright green parts with this kind of lime green paint pen and then I'm gonna change colors. And remember I said that these paints mix? If that's something that you're going for, you wanna do it when the paint is still wet. So for example, I'm gonna go over this pink again, and then if I go into it right away with the purple, you see how you get that nice sort of tone on tone variation? So that's something else that you can play around with if you wanna come up with slightly more shades than your paint pens have. I'm gonna use gold to cover over the vase. I've done that on another piece and it looked just fine. I don't really love that red. So this is an example of a color that isn't even a little bit close, but the gold has pretty good coverage. I think these paintings look so much more colorful and up to date with that simple DIY. And I love them. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day, everyone.